I am so excited to see the look on Ethan's face when he sees me. He's going to be so surprised. Uh, Miss Gwen, wait. You can't go in Ethan's bedroom. Why? Pilar, what's going on in Ethan's bedroom? Why shouldn't I go up to Ethan's room, Pilar? What, is he have another woman up there with him? Uh, no, it's just, well... I'm behind in my work today. Oh, I haven't had please. a chance to vacuum and Pilar, dust. Do not worry about I, that. I, I, Miss Gwen, I want the room to look perfect for you. <sighs> look, Pilar, I know Ethan can get a little messy sometimes, especially when he's working hard, but I love that man, mess and all, and it has been too long. I I think I left my duster in, in the hallway. And... Gwen, what are you doing here? What I'm... is Teresa doing in my wedding gown? But I just talked to you on the phone. You said you couldn't leave New York Ethan, yet. Ethan, I was talking to you from my car just down the road. I didn't want to let you know I was on my way because I wanted to surprise you. And apparently I succeeded because the last thing I expected to see when I walked in here was Teresa wearing my wedding gown. I'm sure there must be a reason, and Teresa will explain it after she gets out of your dress. No, 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 Teresa. I would like to know why you are in my wedding dress and here with my fiancé. Tell me, Teresa, why are you wearing my wedding dress and here in Ethan's bedroom? Um, you know, I, I didn't mean for Ethan to see it when... Hey, but what? And what? Mademoiselle Gwen, quelle surprise! Madame Colette. I didn't know you were here. Uh, it is the same with me, Monsieur Ethan. I, I thought you were not at home. So you're here working on the dress? <laughs> the beast. I made a few alterations and I needed to know how it would look with the dress. Teresa volunteered to model them for me. But Monsieur Ethan, you were not supposed to see it. Well, I feel so silly. I, I have this ridiculous image in my mind. Well, thank you, Teresa, for helping Madame. That was so sweet of you. Oh, I hope you're not upset that your fiancé saw the gun before the ceremony. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm not worried about that old wives' tale at all. Besides, it was Teresa he saw in the wedding gown, and she's not his bride-to-be. I am. It's just a silly superstition. Oh, my goodness, I, I broke it. I'm sorry. That means seven years of bad luck. Uh, time to get out of the dress, Teresa. It was good of you to model it for me, Sherry. I know... Teresa. What are you doing? Come here. It's so wrong, Hama. Teresa, you must stop torturing yourself. But Ethan loves me. Shh. He does. You must give up this dream, this fantasy. I mean, it's not a fantasy. I saw the way Ethan looked at me in that wedding dress. You have to stop deluding yourself. I know Ethan loves me, Mama. I know he 